Hey guys, guess what? I'm not driving and Jason's with me. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I am not getting done up yet today, so I don't look very good. I'm probably gonna keep the camera more on him than on me. But um, we are headed to Lowe's. I have been waiting for Jason to be home to be able to go and do this. Um, for over a month. Yeah, he's been working for almost two months, six days a week, exhausted on Sundays, and we don't do anything on Sundays anyway. And so we are running to Lowe's. I am making a whole bunch of signs, I don't know if you can see that, for my sister's wedding. She kind of put me in charge of that, which is fine. It's kind of right up my alley. But I'm gonna get, I need to wait for Jason because I need to get one huge piece of wood to be the back to every single sign. And so I, I can't get that into are the car. Talking, are you needing like a sheet of plywood or something? Yeah, I need a whole sheet of plywood. Is that gonna fit back there? So he's just learning about this. Yeah, well we <laughs> We're gonna go to Lowe's. To tie okay. it to the rack. I'm gonna explain this to him really quick and then and we're I'll gonna go to Lowe's. To you how much okay. space is back here. I'll explain it to him and then we'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. This is the man who refused to call Firestone. Where we're at, I don't think you can see it. He refused to call and make an appointment to get our tires put on. He wanted a per, per he wanted to personally walk in. <laughs> Sometimes, I don't know if he could like. I think that's why he goes to his shoe conventions because he likes the personal contact with the vendors that he has. But if he could do that for everything that he does in life, personally talk to people, he would be so happy. He loves to have like, you know, one-on-one -on -one contact with people. I think that cuts down on communication problems and and whatnot doesn't help in our <laughs> relationship necessarily we were just arguing about the schedule of what we need to get done today because we differ on what we feel like we need to get done so anyway he's just funny but hopefully they can get this we can make an appointment tomorrow to get the tires on you have to get them like the car here first thing in the morning or you don't get it done that day and I needed him to do the wood today so um, I'm hoping they can schedule it for tomorrow morning. I will have to go without a car and then possibly have to have someone bring me down here to pick it up when it's done. So that will, you know, I might get stuck at home tomorrow, but it'll be okay. Cause I think I'm going to have to finish these signs tomorrow. I'll probably hopefully get them cut and start staining them today so that they dry. And then I can start, um, nailing them and putting them together. So Anyway, that's what we're doing. Oh, he made his appointment. Hopefully. Let's see. Did he make an appointment? Uh, we can just drop it off whenever it works for us. If we drop it off at night, it'll probably be ready by noon the next day. So we might just drop it off Saturday. Uh, yeah. That's hot, yeah. I should help him. Should I help him? down right there and I'm not framing those guys but we are framing these guys so this one is going to be I think a song quote of their favorite song or phrase or something like that poem I don't remember what she said it was and then that one right there is a surprise for her from me and then that one is I think a I don't remember what that one is a welcome chalkboard sign so I'll kind of show you here so we did two of these little mr. and mrs. Um, they're only like, I don't, they're not 20 by six. They're only like 16 by like four, I think. And then she's doing a welcome sign and a sign for herself for these ones will go in her house. And then this is the one that my dad is going to make. This one is huge. This one is like, I don't know. It's like four feet long. It's like a big piece of beadboard. 
and then they're gonna frame it with the same that I did and then they're gonna string twine across the whole thing and hang pictures of their engagement and dating and all that kind of stuff and then on this sign over here these are directional ones I did one big one I might do another small one with a scrap piece of wood but this one is framed and it'll be chalkboard and then I will write with a chalk pen so that I can erase that and use it later this is the song quote um, design and then that one is a secret for my sister and I think that's it all right so um, I'm not gonna lie we're stressed right now he's stressed about work having issues trying to decide if he should go to work or if he should stay home or shut the store down he's not in a good mood so I'm gonna stand and he's gonna I'm trying to convince him to just go for a run and at least burn off the stress and figure it out after that so battery flashing I'm gonna stand I don't want the camera out for that so <laughs> it's just kind of our day this is I'm not gonna sugarcoat it it's not really we're not really in the best of moods right now so we're gonna turn this off put it away and I'm gonna get to work and he's gonna figure out what he's doing all right you guys I have showered I have finished staining all the or not staining <laughs> getting ahead of myself that's what the next job let me show you what I've done so far so I've got all the signs sanded down that took me like two hours to do so I've got these ones that are framed down there and these guys up here there's all different kinds of sizes so the stain the sanding took a long time I was covered in sand and soot and stuff from doing that I have done two loads of laundry I've got one more in the dryer two of them are folded right there one of them is hung right here and I have had lunch. Like I said, I took a shower. And what else have I done? I'm trying to think. But I'm still, I'm having a good day. I'm getting things done. I do need to go out there and, hang on. I do need to go outside and stain the wood and also I'm painting some of them chalkboard with chalkboard paint, but I kind of want to make sure I'm getting the right signs with the right thing because I can't like go back. Like I can't stain it if I've accidentally put chalkboard paint down. So um, I'm just going to brush my hair out. Might as well go get the brush while we're talking. So I want to map it out, make sure I'm painting or staining the right board and all that kind of stuff so I don't mess up. And then um so i might get time for that today because i don't really have anything else to do right now but it's like an hour before kids start getting home from school <sighs> but kind of had a hard time right when um i was starting to sand down all of the boards because jason ended up going to work and that made me mad made him mad that he even had to then we were mad at each other because we were mad and it's the life of owning your own business and I know that we've been doing it for 15 plus years um, but it's not fun and he hasn't had a day off in two like a month and a half except for Sunday and that's just a busy day going to church and hanging out with the family so it's not like he can do absolutely nothing on that day and we can't Anyway, so, I, anyway, it put me in a bad mood. I know he's in a bad mood. And we're going out with friends tonight to go see Downton Abbey. And I told him, I was like, it's not fair to them to have you come home in a grumpy mood. So I, he promised me he would come home in a better mood than he left. <laughs> Neither one of us were in good moods when he left. And I don't want to, like, pretend and kind of fake it right now because I'm more calmed down than I was before it was a good thing I was sanding because the two hours that I spent sanding down those pieces of wood kind of got my aggression and anger out and a few tears <laughs> tears and sawdust don't work very well by the way so I think I'm going to take this last hour before the kids get home to relax unwind a little bit and get the kids set for dinner and after school 
Kayleen was supposed to babysit for like six plus hours tonight, but our friends could not get Seahawk tickets like they wanted to. I thought they were season pass holders. And so I thought it was just kind of a shoe in that they were gonna go to the game tonight, but I guess the husband didn't actually find tickets. So I've gotta convince her to stay home and do homework instead of going out and hanging out with her friends. But it's a school night, she needs to learn how to study. That's our thing is gotta learn how to study. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to take this hour, I'm going to put you down and kind of take some time for myself so I'm in a better mood tonight for our friends and tonight when we go to the movie I'm going to put my sweatpants on and have my sweatshirt on and we're just going to relax and watch this movie with them. The kids will be fine here at home because it's a school night so they have to go to bed early. Um, it was starting to rain, um, doesn't look like it is right now. So I'm kind of hoping the kids still get a chance to go outside and play when they get home. Um, but if not, that if they're in here, then I'll capture them hanging out and playing and whatnot. It's a rare thing when I actually get to film them here at home during the week. So we have fun plans for the weekend and I'll follow up with that later. But um, I actually was editing this a video from yesterday. Actually, it was from a couple days ago. And I never talked to you guys about the savings that I got at the grocery store. So I guess maybe I'll kind of go through that a little bit and just talk to you about how I save money when I don't have a plan when I go to the grocery store. So this was like all I did the entire time I went to the grocery store. I didn't have a list of anything I needed. I kind of had ideas in my head. But I went in and I went clearance shopping at the grocery store. Not Target, but like at the grocery store. And I know for my grocery store, um, it does a sale on Mondays. They mark down their meats, their dairy, their, I'm trying to think what else they do. Think peripheral, like the outside of the store. That's kind of the route that I took. And then I went down a couple other aisles to see if I ha could find sales. And so, that's kind of what I did this time and I scored some pretty good deals. But that's kind of my tip is to go through your store, find out from them when they do markdowns. Try and snag stuff uh, at times when it's a really good price. Most of the time a manager clearance price is half off. Sometimes that half off is the sale price that they'll honor. So, you know, like the chocolate milk that we got was 89 cents. Normally those bottles of half gallon milk are like $2.99. So I don't normally buy chocolate milk. The kids were like, what chocolate milk? They were blown away. I never ever buy chocolate milk. That's my tip and then we'll be back in a while with the kids and carry on our night. All right, so I've done my hair as much as I want to tonight. I've done my makeup just to be presentable in public. I have a t-shirt on and that I had on before. Sweatshirt and then I actually put on sweatpants. I told you I'm wearing sweatpants to the movie tonight. No one's home. Six o'clock, so I'm not sure where the teenagers are because it's technically time to be home. So I'm gonna sit here and be an unusual girl watching a Seahawks game. <laughs> I'm going to the movie in an hour and a half. We're getting picked up. Maybe they're, maybe we're meeting him there. I should check on that. Jason should be leaving work soon. So Chelsea made mac and cheese when she got home from school. She was really hungry. And so I had a little bit of that with her. I don't think Ashley did. I don't remember what she had as an afternoon snack, but I think she'll be hungry again. Chelsea might not be that hungry. Kaylee and Abby will definitely be hungry. But like I said, I should probably call Kaylee and ask why she's not home because she knows that I'm leaving. So, here, let's see what Kaylee says. I bet when she answers, she's going to say, oh, shoot. You know, I meant to be home. Let's see what she says. I'm not mad, by the way, because obviously I don't have dinner on the table. Hello? Hi. What's up? Do you know what time it is? Are you upstairs? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were at Evelyn's. No. Are you doing homework? No. Were you asleep? Kind of. Oh, were you watching TV? Or iPad? Yes. 
Okay. Do you have homework? A little bit. Okay. You need to start working on it. Are you hungry? No. Okay. If you get hungry, there's a potato in the fridge. Okay. Dad and I are going in an hour as soon as he gets home. Okay. Okay. Bye. Nothing like talking to your teenagers while they're upstairs. I had no idea she was home. She must be tired. Her self-defense class is kind of kicking her butt. Because twice a week they do self-defense. And then the other days of the week they do, which I think is only three days a week. Because they alter, they have like a really weird altered schedule. Like, what, like on Tuesday or Wednesday they do like four classes. And then on the next day they do three classes. And then all the other days they do all seven classes. It's like a really weird, they're just implementing it this year to see if it works. I don't know why, but so then like three of uh, the other two or three days she does like regular PE and while the weather is good, they're forcing them, not forcing them, it's PE. They're getting them to use the, <laughs> anyway, get outside and there are major trails right behind the high school and the middle school, like perfect trails for them. And so not then they also have their track. So they rotate between like a hike and running the track outside while they can before the rain really comes in and they can't be outside. I think that's kicking her butt. This is Abby. This is gonna be Abby. Is it Abby? Yeah. Good thing I'm not mad you're 15 minutes late because it is Abby. 13 minutes actually. <laughs> and we had to finish a movie. Oh my gosh, I have everyone. Hey, I'm vlogging right now. Are you on your way home? Yeah, I'm on my way home. I just left the store. Um, I'm good. I'm in a good mood. I want to give you a hug and say sorry for just my stress level and I know. everything. But I feel good. Um, All right. Bye. Bye. So, kind of cut out part of the conversation but he's in a better mood. It was a good call, I guess, for him to go to work. He knew he wouldn't be able to be in a good mood if he stayed home. And I was in a bad mood because he left. <laughs> so that's married life for you. Um, but I'm glad he's in a good mood and he's on his way home. I found some peanut M&Ms in a little stash that I got from the church. So I'm gonna grab some of those for him. I have my Cokes wrapped in wet paper towels and they're in the freezer getting nice and cold those are my movie tips guys i don't pay movie prices for popcorn and drinks i take my own and i sneak them in and i'm totally fine with that now i have my two oldest home and chelsea and ashley are actually over at their friend's house where kaylee was supposed to babysit tonight they're all watching the seahawk game they're interested in it when someone else is watching it but not when i am so I'm going to get back to watching this for about an hour until Jason is home, and then we're going to go to a movie. This is kind of how you turn your day around when you kind of have a bad day. I also have been, um, uh, I was feeling really anxious because I was not getting done with these signs for my sister, and so I, I decided to not go and stain them today after I showered. I wanted to, like take that hour to myself like I said and then when the kids came home they all went back out to play and I opened up my silhouette on my computer I only have it on my laptop so I don't have it on my desktop and so I was able to watch Netflix on the computer while I had my silhouette um, software open on my laptop and I was able to start designing the vinyl that are gonna that is gonna go on the signs for my sister's wedding and I've been I don't think you're gonna be able to see I don't think you're gonna be able to see. Maybe I'll show you on the computer um, here in a little bit. But I've been kind of designing the font and sending her different font ideas and layouts and whatnot, whatnot. It's really easy to design them, but I'm not good at getting it cut and and put the contact paper. I'm not good at that part. So this part was super easy, and I just anyway. I'm babbling. I'm going to go watch Se Seahawks, but I wasn't doing nothing today. Uh, that's, I guess, my point, is I kind of got myself into a little zone, and I started editing the, that kind of font stuff, so that 
that put me in a better spot. So I'm going to watch this. I'm going to try and get... Abby, what are you going to eat for dinner? I already have pizza. Where did you have pizza? Where is she? Yeah, pizza. She did? Mm -hmm. She has good friends. How come on a school night did they... Why didn't you tell me what? you were staying? What if I hadn't been making a dinner for you? I'm one piece. Oh. Are you hungry still? No. Okay. Okay, I'm going to watch this game before Jason gets home. These guys just got home. They're like, oh my gosh, are you watching the Seahawks game? They're doing so great. <laughs> so how come when I watch it, you're not all the excited? You're screaming so loud. Yeah. No, I do not. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> What's all, wait, 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 pause. What's all over your face? Nothing. <laughs> you have chocolate all over your face. That's Nutella. She ate Nutella. Okay, are you hungry for dinner? Sort of. Go get yeah, cereal, because I'm not cooking. Cereal? Can we have McDonald's? No, because I'm not leaving. Cereal. Yeah. I'm are. going to, no, I'm going with Dad. Ashley, stop. Put your butt up. Well, I'm glad you guys had fun. I got to get them to, like, get something to eat, because you're getting your pajamas on and going straight up. For extra screen time so that I make sure you're in bed. Okay? Bye. <coughs> Alright, so Jason just got home. And our ride is going to be here in about 20 minutes, I think. Um, and he brought me new shoes. I think he's trying to suck up a little bit. Because it was kind of a bad morning. But I think they're the wrong size. But I think it's kind of what I'm going for. I was kind of hoping it would be in navy blue. Let me, tell me what you think. Because he's not going to... Oh, like look at that fuzz. I don't know why that is doing. I have to kind of spray that down a little bit with some water. But anyway, let me show you these shoes. I don't think he's going to be able to get them for me until Friday or Saturday. Actually, maybe even next week. So it's only Thursday today for you guys. For me, it's Thursday. For you guys, it's Friday. A week later. <laughs> so... I have some time, so let me know what you think in a comment below if you like these shoes. I'm going for a tennis shoe that is not a tennis shoe, so kind of an in-between between, like not a dressy slip-on shoe, but like I want it more casual as well. I don't really know how to explain it. Think like Vans, but like not a van, so because obviously we don't sell those in our store. And I would like to have the option of being able to get something that he can get me. So let me just show you what he found. All right, so you're seeing my sweatpants. <laughs> they actually happen to be the same color. But see how they're like, you know, they're leather. So they're a little bit nicer, but it's still like a tennis shoe. So I just want something a little bit, you know, anyway. So I'm actually really liking this color. Now I'm kind of second guessing the navy blue. I don't know what one to have him order me in the right size. Okay, time for bed. Mom and Dad are leaving. No. Yeah. yeah. Can we play after bow, bow, bow. No, it is a school night and we're going to bed. Mom and I don't usually go out on a school night, but <laughs> life is unusual. Oh, by the way, say hi again. Hi. Kaylee, you want to say hi? Oh, no, she's going down, down. Okay, Chelsea, I'm going to turn the camera off, but it is time to go to bed. First, let me just get all this situated. Ah, Charles. Oh, okay, we've made our way to the bedroom. Go, go, go. Guess. You're going to read a book? Yeah. And she's going to get screen time. I'm going to And then she's going to hand that off. And you're going to get screen time. Yeah, and then you get to choose the music. Correct? Yeah. And you're going to be good for your sisters or else all mm -hmm. yeah. leap is going to break loose. Yes? Okay. Mm -hmm. If you don't want any problems, okay. stay in bed mm -hmm. and obey. Love you. Bye-bye. So we have resorted to sitting on the porch waiting for our ride. This is horrible lighting because we don't want to like mess up where everyone's at right now. <laughs> Meaning the kids. Yeah. The kids, two of them are in bed. Abby's just, she didn't have homework tonight so she's just hanging out. Kaylee is taking a break from homework and getting something to eat. And we're just waiting for our ride. They're going to be here any minute. Uh, this is really bad light. Anyway, I don't know. We have to take our car down to my, tonight after the movie to go get the tires put on. So we might see you again. But obviously we're going to a movie. There's nothing to film when you go to a movie. So Downton Abbey, right? You told them? Yeah, Downton Abbey. So 
Should be fun. Yeah, it should be cool. I wish the show was still going. I know. It was one we like to watch together. We don't have too many. No, we don't have any right now except maybe Amsterdam. Amsterdam and New Amsterdam and you like Million Little Things. Not as it's much. Okay. What about This Is Us? Yeah, there's just too much going on. I, you skip ahead so far that I just... It's literally the first episode of the season. Oh. He probably didn't watch the whole last season, though. Cause no, I, I watched the I don't jump ahead. Show. I'm just... current with what is playing on a weekly basis. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Hope you guys have a good day. I'm going to work tomorrow. I'm going to work tomorrow on those signs and a few other little projects. So, and it's Friday. Trying to think, what else am I doing? Living the dream. Yeah, he'll be at work. So, anyway, that might be it. It's really kind of been a blah kind of a day, but this movie should um, cheer us up a little bit. It should be pretty good. So, take care, you guys. If I don't see you again, good night. All right, we're home from the movie. We've got our tires. It was really good. It was so good, you guys. You haven't seen it yet. You should. I don't know if you're going to be able to even see. Nope, you're not going to be able to see. <laughs> Got our tires in the back of our car. And uh, we're going to go drop this car off down at the tire place. Jason's going to drive his car. And we're going to swap. It's best if you go and get them in so that they can work on it right away in the morning. Oh. I just lost all my light. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Anyway, it is only like 10.30. But we're going to go and swap this one. And then tomorrow, I'm just going to have to ask one of my friends to take me down. And... Oh, they're just... <laughs> Let me see if I can show you. Oh, <laughs> I hope that they... I got to like be able to open the door in the back so they don't fall out, but. Well, this is gonna be an interesting ride. <laughs> I literally only like gotten out of my driveway and they're already like, luckily that one caught on my seat so it didn't barrel into me. I might wanna keep my light on so I can at least see if they're gonna smack me in the head. <laughs> Maybe I should've had Jason drive this car. Probably would've been a better idea.